I am Denise Nolquist and I work with students with the last name of A through CH. I'm Mrs. Jadwin and I am the counselor for students with last names beginning with CI through G. Hi, my name is Sang Soo Fang and I work with students with the last name H through K. My name is Nate Shook and I am a counselor here at Hopkins High School who works with students with the last names that start with L, M, or N. Hi, I'm Jeff Matchett, counselor here at Hopkins High School and I work with students' last names beginning O through S, H. I am Mrs. Schmidt. I work with students with last names S, I through Z. I feel like our main goal is to help guide students. The role of a counselor at Hopkins High School is really broken down to three areas. One would be academic support. Um, that's not only for students who might be struggling academically, that could also be academic support in terms of helping students choose courses, um, make course changes if they need to do that. It could be talking through classes and courses with students to make sure they're making the appropriate choice related to their future plans. Um, and speaking of future plans, that would actually be a second um, reason why a high school counselor would meet with a student. We assist students with planning for their future. So whether it's a career that you want to pursue or which college you feel would be the best fit for you, we're here to support you on that process. Whether it be looking at what kind of schools they should apply to, um, how they do the college application process, um, what kind of careers should they uh, be trying to look towards, how do they go about finding a career in that area, um, just any sort of general information in that regard. Students can typically visit a counselor for a variety of reasons. Um, most of the time, students will come down to get some advice um, or guidance regarding their schedule or even um, post-secondary advice or guidance. Um, also, if a student is having troubles with a friend or a boyfriend or a teacher or a parent um, or just any issue in general, they will typically come to the counselor to kind of talk it out and counselors can help them find other resources if needed um, to continue to help them. So anything that's going on in Sense Life that they want to come and share with us, our goal is again to be there to support the student. Sometimes students will come in if they uh, need help with college applications or if they need help um, considering where to start in the college application process or to consider what they might want to do after high school. Maybe they need information in school to help support decisions they're going to make here at school. That would be a reason why they would want to come see a counselor. Uh, students can visit a counselor in a variety of different ways. Um, one way they can do it is just stopping by their office. We have a pretty open door policy here at the high school, so if our doors are open and we're um, busy with something, we can um, certainly take a minute and talk to you. Um, if it requires a longer degree of time, um, you can schedule an appointment with uh, one of the two information specialists, um, either Ms. Nelson or Mr. Johnson, and they can get you on our calendar at a time that works best for you. And we're also on our email and computers all the time, so if you want to email us with a question and have a dialogue that way, that's another way we 